Hi, this is Doug Schneider, and I want to welcome you to the ninth episode of Real Hi-Fi, where I want to take on a topic that keeps coming up and up and up and up, and that is whether Wave sounds better than FLAC or any other lossless music format. Now, I chose Wave and FLAC because these are two of the most popular lossless music formats you can rip, say, CDs to, but there are actually many you can choose. Now, you can find all day long opinions, mainly on the internet, about why they sound different or supposedly sound different. And it comes down to two main reasons. One, there are many people who do not feel that when these files play back through the music system that they are bit for bit identical. And then there are those people who might believe that they are bit for bit identical, but they're somehow affected by the playback system and that changes the sound. I'm going to address both of these things. Now, I can't pretend to know all the reasons people don't think they're bit for bit identical, but I think one of the main reasons is because when you look at the files on the hard drive, they are not bit for bit identical. And that is because the WAV format does not losslessly compress the way the FLAC format does. So you end up with the WAV file being, say, twice the size. But rest assured, when that FLAC file uncompresses, it comes back exactly the same as that WAV file. You might now be wondering, how do we know they're bit for bit identical when that FLAC file uncompresses? Well, you can look at the bit stream, or you can know this. You can interchange between these formats all day long, as many times as you want. And when you do, the data remains exactly the same. I know there are many people out there who just don't believe that you can exchange from one format to another, but let me tell you about an experiment I did with Adam Cohen's We Go Home. Using JRiver software, I ripped the first track is called Song of Me and You as a FLAC file. And then Jay River supports all these lossless formats. And I converted it at least a dozen times. AIFF, ALEC, FLAC, WAVE, back and forth. And then I took the final file and I burned it to a CD. And then I re-ripped that CD as a WAVE file and then converted it to FLAC. And the song data was bit for bit identical. Now, I know that there are people who still won't believe that they are bit for bit identical, but I just have to put that aside and appeal to logical viewers who accept that, yes, they are bit for bit identical. And here's the thing. Many people wonder what file format to rip to. It really doesn't matter as long as it's lossless, because if you decide to change it in the future, all the data remains the same. Accepting that the files are bit for bit identical as they go through the playback stream, there are still people who believe that the sound quality changes because the files are processed differently through the playback chain, and they are. As I mentioned, a FLAC file needs to be uncompressed as it's played. And there are many people who believe that the computer working to uncompress the file is generating noise or something that could affect sound quality. And for a while, I wanted to believe that, but until somebody proves that to me, I don't believe that's true anymore. One of the reasons I don't believe that the decompression affects sound quality is you can watch the processes running on your computer and the effort it takes the computer to decompress that file is minuscule. But like I said, I entertained this idea. And so I thought, well, if really stressing the computer affects sound quality through increase in noise or jitter or something, let's really tax that computer and see what happens. So one day as I was playing music, I decided to do all these things simultaneously. I uploaded a massive file. I downloaded a massive file. I updated software. I opened up software and guess what? Playback never glitched. Sound quality never changed. That said, there was a day I thought, I have to rethink this whole wave versus black file thing because I was on a plane to a hi-fi show and I had on my phone an album I had ripped to both Wave and FLAC. And I thought, well, I'm gonna take a few moments and compare them, see if there's something to this. And as I played them, it was apparent the Wave files sounded better than the FLAC files consistently through all the tracks, and I was a little shocked. But as I was comparing them, I realized that the Wave files were playing back louder. So I went through the playback software I was using on my phone, and there was something called Replay Gain On. And when I turned it off, the volume came down to identical, and the sounds of the files became the same. All told, unless the playback software is doing something wonky like I just described, there's no legitimate reason that these files will sound different. However, there is a reason they could. The mind. We don't like to admit this as audio files, but we can be easily tricked into hearing differences that aren't really there. If you go into a listening test expecting to hear a difference, you will. That's been shown many times. And whenever I look at these flat versus wave arguments, they're almost always listening tests 
that are really informal and they're not really set up to say, did the person really hear a difference? On the other hand, you can use that knowledge about your mind to your advantage. If you simply believe that ripping to a certain file format like WAVE will sound better, by all means do so. It's as good a choice as any because chances are it will. But if you rip to FLAC, you'll save drive space, you'll have better metadata support. That's the tagging for things like genre, year, artist, and also you won't compromise sound. But know this, right off the bat, no matter what file format you choose, it really doesn't matter because you can convert it in the future anyway without any penalty.